The space station crew is safe following a debris event. Our recently returned Crew-2 astronauts discuss their mission and what our Crew-1 astronauts did in Washington. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On November 15th, Moscow Standard Time, the International Space Station Flight Control Team was notified about indications of a satellite breakup that had potential to create enough debris to pose a conjunction threat to the station. They directed the crew on board to close hatches to radio modules on the station and to shelter in spacecraft docked to the orbiting outpost for about two hours. The station is passing through or near the debris cloud every 90 minutes, but based on a risk assessment, the crew no longer needs to shelter and is safe at this time. NASA's SpaceX Crew-2 astronauts recently returned from the International Space Station. They took questions about their mission during a November 15th post-landing news conference, including a question about how responsive the crew was to a brief loss of attitude control the station experienced on October 15th. And we relied on our training uh, and it just kind of kicked in the stuff that we thought we'd never ever use, we were using, uh, and we worked really well together as a team to kind of um, get that situation back under control. Crew 2 traveled more than 84 million miles during their 199 days in orbit and conducted hundreds of experiments while on board the space station. The astronauts of NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission were in the Washington, D.C. area during the week of November 15th to share experiences from their 167 days aboard the space station. One, two, three. They stopped by our Mary W. Jackson NASA headquarters building to present Administrator Bill Nelson and Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy with photo montages commemorating the mission. Hi, thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. Also at our headquarters, the crew shared imagery from their mission with NASA employees during a question and answer presentation. The astronauts also visited Capitol Hill to discuss the work being done aboard the space station with members of Congress and others visiting the Destination Station mobile exhibit and to highlight America's future deep space exploration plans. NASA has assigned astronaut Jessica Watkins to serve as a mission specialist on our upcoming SpaceX Crew-4 mission to the International Space Station. She joins fellow NASA astronauts Chell Lindgren and Robert Hines, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Christopher Reddy. The four are targeted for launch in April 2022. Our Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART mission, is targeted for launch no earlier than 1.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 24th from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. The mission will help determine if intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid is an effective way to change the asteroid's course. Check out nasa.gov DART for more about the mission and some online opportunities to share in the excitement of NASA's first planetary defense test mission. The Laser Communications Relay Demonstration, or LCRD, will be NASA's first end-to-end -end laser relay system. The technology demonstration will use invisible infrared lasers to transfer data between Earth and geosynchronous orbit at a rate of 1.2 gigabits per second. Laser communications offer data rates 10 to 100 times higher than traditional radio transmissions, which could enable future missions to transfer extraordinary amounts of data. LCRD is targeted for launch no earlier than December 4th from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.